my name is Robbie Jeanette, and I just released this album called Gleams. My relationship with the piano has been lifelong. I played as soon as I could reach it and uh, took lessons from about 6 to 14. I've always wanted to be a acoustic piano player rather than a keyboard player and have maintained that relationship. So my relationship with the acoustic piano bleeds into just about everything, but it's the master instrument and there's not as many acoustic piano players these days, so I've become a little bit of a rare bird. How did you come my way free from the cold? So the songs I've been writing the past couple of years are much more uh, technical and complex underneath without sounding necessarily technical and complex on the surface. It's kind of like all the chords they used to use in standards and now it seems like people use about three chords but taking all those chords that people used to use and all those hip changes and using them in a modern post-Rush, post-Iron Maiden world is where I'm at. The lyrics on the album, uh, really when I sequenced the album it turned out to where we started with kind of the darker songs, Feel and The Camera's On, and then it kind of swept into a brighter and lighter, more exuberant uh, mood. So though each song was written individually, I feel like there's a flow to the record. Um, I put a lot of thought into my lyrics, and there's a lot of philosophy that goes into kind of condensing your thoughts into the perfect lines that just completes a thought and makes you sit back and say, wow, I, you know, I did it, I, I clicked the click and I locked the lock. and Everything's there nice and tight. So um, if you read the lyrics aside from a song, there's a lot of deep meaning, but hopefully there's a lot of catchy hooks and stuff that you'll sing along before you even realize what I'm saying. Can it be the coat of a man? White is the skin of a woman in the elevator, dancing with the ghost of a millionaire. And yellow with the eyes of a cat with only one life left. And he's sitting on my chest. Working with Fernando Perdomo has been so cool. I knew Fernando for many years as a musician, as a songwriter. He uh, came over and uh, said he wanted to make a record and I was really thrilled because I've always loved his music and I loved the songs, they were really interesting and uh, anything that's uh, got more than three chords in it usually gets me super excited. <laughs> it was really important because as I was writing these more complex songs and I was going to frost them with harmonies and strings, I needed somebody that, and really Fernando is one of the only people I know, who had the ear, had the mind, had the memory for all different sorts of records and ideas, had the melodic ideas and sensibility, could also play on every instrument and kind of meld our minds together. This new style that he's created is something very unique. Um, we both have a lot of similar influences and a lot of similar tastes. And uh, it's great to see him uh, take a lot of classical influence into the uh, music, music writing and uh, turn it into a whole new thing in pop. The studio, Reseda Ranch, um, is a very cool place to work because there's instruments everywhere, there's a casual feeling to it, but it feels like this is where creativity can just explode because whatever you think of and want to do, you want an organ, you want a piano, you want an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar, a synth, you know, it's all around and again, Fernando's mind is part of what makes this studio what it is and he's able to make what I as an artist or any of the artists that come here are doing into something more and that's really what you're coming in to be produced and to, to a studio for is to get beyond yourself so that's what we did here. Uh, Ryan Brown's played with me for a long time and I love the way that he gets my music and gets my piano playing. There's a symbiotic relationship that we have where he just has an instinct for a lot of the things that I do on piano which doesn't kind of come across to every drummer. Through, he's very methodical and he's very good about charting stuff out and he's always a joy to work with. He always nails his takes and he usually at the end when we're like, that was it, he says one more that's going to be the take because he knows in his head when he's nailed it and even though it seems 99% guy's not settling for less than 100 so I, I'll go with that. I love the album. Uh, Gleam sounds fantastic. Fernando did an amazing job. You, he knows his room so well and he knows his mics his equipment so well. It's just kind of like like throw and go and it sounds fantastic and, and uh, he, he's a great producer, has great ideas. It was great working with him and Robbie you know uh, for drum part ideas parts and fills and transitions and everything, you know, it's, 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 it's really a pleasure working with those guys.
Caitlin Wolfberg uh, came to me through Fernando. Um, it turned out to be such a fun experience because I had never written with and for strings before. Usually I would spend some time with the chart, like the songs um, myself and come in with ideas, sketches. So she and Fernando and myself uh, really sat and conceptualized and picked out parts on the guitar, on the piano, and kind of created the parts in the studio as we recorded them. So it was a great process. She listened and she played sometimes stuff that we would sing to her, sometimes stuff that we would play to her on piano, and then she would come up with her own ideas. So it's really cool to work with a string player with a rock and roll attitude. I'm really excited about the, how the album turned out because I've done like wild things before. This is just new. It just feels new and different. Yeah. So Durga McBroom, um, I was familiar with. She had sung on some different things that Fernando had done. And she sang with Pink Floyd. She's got this pedigree. She is one of the greatest backup vocalists of all time. And I say that with complete confidence because when you think of backup vocals in rock and roll, who do you think of? Pink Floyd. There's no other backup vocalist that sang on more Pink Floyd records than she did. It's really a cool thing to have in the music and have her and her legacy be a part of it. My hopes and dreams for the record um, is obviously to get heard and to get listened to. Um, since this is more of a theatrical kind of music, I'm hoping to maybe open some doors in movies and in Broadway. Um, um, you can find the album on all streaming services, all download, uh, Amazon, iTunes, Google Play, uh, Deezer, Tidal, Spotify. It's pretty much everywhere and um, I hope you will go and check it out. The video is on YouTube and on Facebook. It's called The Camera's On and uh, I hope you check it out, see it and dig it. Pass it on.